Hello and welcome back everyone to People Playground. Today we're going to be playing with lava because that's safe pe pending. Uh, I'm just going to redefine the word safe. I feel like I just want to get someone over the lava from this side to this side safely without them dying. We're gonna start with a cyborg uh, because cyborgs are a little bit more crunchy. They can handle a little bit more. Like watch this. See, not dead. Like, legitimately, you can beat them up quite a bit and they will be fine. Now, if I did the equivalent with a human, not, not good. Anyways, Cyborg Gang for the win. Look at that cartwheel he just did. That was extremely impressive. I'm gonna shake his hand. This is going to gracefully fly over the lava and uh, he's going to survive. Guaranteed. Okay, he's a little... What is going on with his head? It's not supposed to bend in that way. All right, it's fine though, once again. Too much worrying. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, no! <laughs> I guess I squished him a little bit too much. It's all right. There, I got him in a slightly safer position. Um, don't worry, I'm a mechanic. Uh, there we go. Oh, he's alive! Can, can you, can you, can you, can Alright, I'm going to literally fasten your butt to the ground so that you stop moving so much. Ugh. I'm literally just trying to do what you guys asked and do a triangle. And, like, he is making it very challenging. I'm going to have to slightly restrain his body to make this safe. There we go. There we go! See, you can still move your leg. I know what you're thinking. Spike, you're adding an awful lot of struts to that. It's going to fall apart either way. You're right, but I'm not willing to admit that you're right. Alright. Just like 12 more struts, all right? It's okay. You see, the thing about this game is you end up making these really elaborate contraptions and you start actually caring a little bit about them. It's like it's your child, you know? It's this beautiful triangle. I'm actually gonna save this one. I'm gonna call it Triforce because that's a funny and relatable reference. Great, uh, so one of you asked if it would float in the lava. I will, I will test what, why is it moving? It has a life of its own. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna toss it into the lava. It, okay, it kind of floats. I mean, the cyborg is not having a good, can the cyborg survive lava? Really? Now that I did not expect. Um. I guess we're playing on easy mode then. I guess he just has to survive the impact and not get stuck in the lava forever. All right. Well, that's that's kind of neat. Um, well, I guess that means I don't have to worry quite as much. All right. Um, great. So, uh, getting over the lava, I'm thinking if I just add a small few thrusters to the bottom of the triangle. Angle it in the right direction and then power the thrusters. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I'd just like to say, NASA, if you were watching this, I will, I will, I will work for you for free just for the humble brag that I worked for NASA. Um, I'm, yeah. You can, you can find my uh, work email on the about page of my YouTube. It's, it's full of spam, but I'm sure I'll notice one from NASA. All right, ready? There we go, that, that's a good angle right there. Nice 45 degrees. Are we ready? We're going to be launching in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, there was a slight issue. 
The issue was simple. It, it rotated and fell into the lava. The thrusters did not have nearly enough power. It's barely enough power to even move the damn thing. Clearly we need a little bit more power. Um... We could add more thrusters, or we could just add a much bigger thruster. I'm the type of guy who's like, you know, I moved to Tix Texas and everything's bigger in Texas or something, so we're just gonna strap a bigger thruster onto it. Because that's like the Texan way, I guess. Although there's no burnt ends uh, included, and that that's also required. You have to stick burnt ends on anything. Anything that's in Texas. All right, let's just uh, weld, weld this together. There will be no repercussions for my actions because there never are. Uh, activate it. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, the exact same thing happened. I, I was expecting it to be different. Something, something, uh, what's the definition of insanity? There's so much like crazy force going on here. It's shaking the screen but it's still not enough. I think we need a little bit more power. So, uh, we're going to grab an accumulator. You guys are saying generator. I think the generator may be a little bit overkill. We're gonna start with an accumulator, see what happens. All right, uh, please. Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, ooh, all right, good, good, good thing we saved, <laughs> good thing we saved, what, how, how long ago did that, okay, that's fine, that's all right, not, not too much has happened since, <laughs> yeah, there was this very slight, very slight amount of force that was exerted. He looks all right. He, he actually wasn't torn apart, which when it comes to my creations, not being torn apart is honestly kind of a plus side. Like he got out easy. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Uh, slightly less failure this time. I'm, I'm trying really hard to get this straight, but like, I think I have to accept that it's not going to happen. Some things are just not meant to be straight. All right, there we go. Brilliant. Just going to go ahead, do a few connections here and there. Brilliant. Notice how I put it a little bit further away this time. I'm not sure I trust the engineering quite as much after watching it literally explode two minutes ago. Bike isn't meant to be straight. Coca! I, I will, you're Welsh. Your opinion does not matter. Go, go, go back, go back to Wales. Shut up. I'm gonna dock your pay. You weren't even paid, but I'm, I'm gonna dock it anyway. I think you're so funny, Coca. So funny. All right, we're gonna attach this to two batteries. Um, I think I can just use conducting wires to connect it. I think that's fine. All right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's actually, okay, uh, G, we're gonna go slow motion and we're just gonna, the only issue is it's going kinda straight up. Um, but he is rotating, so perhaps if I just, at the perfect moment, cut the power. Let him go a little bit further. Okay, we're getting some sideways momentum here. Um, I don't think we're gonna clear the entire thing, though. I think it's extremely unlikely. He's, he's, he's gonna... Okay, first off, I'm gonna save. Um, while he's moving. Save. Uh, what am I calling this? Uh, Triforce V2. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. 
he got he got some height and distance. It's it's just not nearly enough. Ooh, he's gonna go far into the lava. Oh, does it still work? I think the batteries and stuff were absolutely trashed. So I'm gonna delete him. I'm gonna replace him. You know, it's easy to replace people. All right. It's hard to replace the triangle. The triangle is all that really matters at the end of the day. Why is there- oh, the batteries are smoking. Uh, can I repair them? Repair- ah! Brilliant. It, oh, they, they exploded immediately. Uh, probably from the heat. Whoops. Okay. It just immediately explodes. Um, all right. Apparently the batteries... It, it is... There is a potential that having cylinders of explosive material inside of a craft that is above lava and at thousands of degrees is just a bad idea. Um, nobody ever posed this to me. I wasn't aware it was a bad idea. Nobody told me. Like, I guess... I guess it is. Go ahead and connect a wire from this to this. You may say, Spike, the accumulator was way too much last time. Well, ne never hurts to try again, does it? I'm gonna turn it off this time, at the right moment. All right, it's gonna be fine. Um, Triforce, V3. All right, this is gonna be great. We're using the power of triangles to fire someone across a lake of lava. Have you ever done that before? Probably not. I mean, may maybe? I, I really don't know much about you or your personal circumstances, I'm gonna be honest. All right, we're gonna turn on slow motion, and uh, you will notice that we are already tilting in the incorrect direction, so I'm going to tilt it. I'm gonna put that there. It's really all about aiming him properly. Is it? Is it not enough power? Oh, I forgot to power the thing. All right, this this is gonna be fine. Here we go. Okay, we just don't want to hit too many G forces. Okay, we're going slow. Mo okay, he's going to clear it, unless we go too fast and he dies from the forces. All right, all right, all right. It's gonna tilt. Um, I feel like we've hit apoapsis. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Turn off the thrusters. Oh, he's going to hit the wall. There is no, there's no way he's not going to hit the wall and turn into a pancake. Ah, uh, he's moving kind of quickly. The triangle will save him. I, I don't think so. We're at 10% speed and he's moving quite quickly. I wouldn't want to hit the wall this fast, let alone 10 times. I paused and he's in the wall. All right, uh, we all know what's gonna happen. Oh my God, he survived! Okay, okay, is he going to bounce into the lava? Or is he going to bounce and fall? Uh, no, he's going to bounce into the lava, but at least he'll be on the right side of the lava, I guess. Wait, will he? This is like a question of, oh, no, he's falling in the lava. There's, there's no way he's missing it. Is he alive? He's alive! Oh my god. This is incredible. All right, I've got an idea. It's not a good idea. I don't think he'll like the idea, but I'm going to make a massive concrete wall here to just bounce him off of the- I know, I know it's cheating. I, I know it's cheating. I, I'm aware. But, you know, Happy Wheels, this is like a Happy Wheels moment. We're going to try to just bounce him into the correct direction. Okay, we, we have we have just about built our uh, bouncing wall. You may be asking why I didn't make it out of a more bouncy material and I chose concrete rather than like an insulative pad. You know, I, I, I didn't really think about it. Oh no, it didn't bounce. It, it just absolutely shattered. Okay, I thought it would at least have some, some mass. Oh, all right. You know what? We made it like 90% of the way over. And 90% is really an A, if you think about it. Um, I'll build like a crane or something to save. 
Oh, I pulled a little bit too hard. Wait, no, he's coming back together. Okay, he's not dead. Will he survive the landing, though? Oh, he's gonna hit the wall again. Oh! Oh, and he's stuck inside of a brick wall. Oh, and he hit the ground. Oh, he is slightly dead. All right, you know, you know what'll fix that? I'm gonna hit him with a wrench. He made it! It was a success, everyone. It was a total success. Nobody could, nobody could do any better. Just a scratch. Fantastic. I'd like, I'd like everyone to thank Bob for being today's test dummy. He's, he really has a lot he goes through for the sake of science. Thank you, Bob. He's basically indestructible. Uh, the, the key word is basically. I still manage to kill him a lot. Try with a human now. Maybe next time, because I have to go now. I've, I've got, I've got important things waiting. Important things. Um, I'll, I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Wow! Thank you for watching! Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you want to fall into a giant lava vat yourself, make sure to do I don't know, comment down below, share the video, help me hit 5 billion subscribers by 2076. By then, Vuperia will be fully established, um, so I'll be Emperor anyways, but... You should totally join the Discord as well, uh, spookvooper.com slash Discord. Yeah, high quality. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.